Hey everybody, my name is Kitamar, welcome back for another video of Mythic Ocean. We're gonna continue this series, boys. I, I love playing this game, but I think we are coming off towards the end of it right here. Uh, there's a lot more content uh, to this game, but uh, from my own perspective, we've got all 10 pages that we needed in order to create the crown, which is what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna create the crown. Uh, first, before doing that, I want to actually talk to for some more people i'm interested in talking with the big octopus guy uh noxus and also by talking again with our friend right here which ended up growing quite a lot boy so i want to talk with these people see what it's uh what's going on with them before making my decision on who the god should be boy so let's do that really quick lutra is that you in there he's not talking boys not good familiar one arrives yeah it's me i came to check on you there was dreaming before familiar one returned this one thought dreaming might never end great change has begun all right i can see that you look pretty impressive uh how do you feel is it going all right so far this one misses seeing familiar one all is dark now Cannot see familiar one, cannot see anything. This one has much, much fear. This one does not understand great change. What will happen to this one? But I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, it's okay, I'm here, We're ju you're just gonna be, you're gonna be just fine. You know what, I'm here. You're gonna be just fine, buddy. Don't worry about it. This is not known. But this one still has gladness. Because familiar one is here. Also this one. Knows new things now. New things came in dreams. First thing this one saw. Is that during greatest hunger. Familiar one spoke with device using one. To decide how to help this one. Device using one consider using strange machine. Which gives this one great fear. But familiar one did not allow it. This one has much happiness about that. Oh, all right. So he basically has telepathic uh, abilities now. He can read our minds or even see what we're doing. You're talking about. He's literally spying on me, which is a good thing. I disagreed on the whole uh, mechanical thing. All right. Well, I helped uh, because I was worried about you. I'm glad it turned out okay. Thankfulness. But there are other few things. Second thing this one saw. Is that the furry one had great sadness because this one ate many forest plants. This one also has sadness now. Why did familiar one not mention that great sadness could occur? But I couldn't know. I had confidence in you trying to stop yourself. I mean, obviously. Uh, don't worry about that. I spoke to the furry one. It's okay now. The plant will grow back someday. I tried to explain that it would be bad for other creatures if you ate so many plants. Now do you do understand? Well, I was hoping you understood what I meant. You know what? I'm going to tell him to not worry about it. Thankfulness. This one has less sadness now. This one also saw third new thing. Two that are one have crystal. Crystal shows them things far away. Things familiar to them. Does familiar one know this? Yeah, it actually uh, gave me the crystal actually, so I have to actually that's one of those things I, I got to try and repair their crystal somehow uh, This one saw that Two that are one believe crystal have them But crystal brings them much pain also This one thinks greatest pain of two that are one comes from crystal now Well, thanks Luther. I'll keep that in mind. I guess uh, this one will only share one more thing that was seen. And that is, device using one wants to find something. Think, uh, think, uh, think device using one wants it's in the deep, uh, deepest, darkest place. Does familiar one know? Yeah, it's, it's uh, all about Noxus, really. Yeah, Lutra seems to know about everybody now. Interesting. Uh, this one tried to see what was in the dark place. Something stopped this one. Only darkness was seen. 
is the familiar if familiar one goes to that place this one thinks greatest caution should be used all right so i'll keep that in mind then they are other things that this one saw in dreams but this one can feel all things slipping away all right and there all right you're gonna be fine lutra this one my, would not have name without familiar one this one had much fear about great change but familiar one helped much now this one only fears that familiar one will not be remembered by this one after great change will this one memories disappear but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, don't worry. If even if they do, I'll tell you everything that happened, and you'll have to, them back again. Exactly. We could do that. This one has greatest thankfulness. Words of familiar one changed everything for this one. This one will never forget. You. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of cute, boys. Me and Nutra were big friends. I'm a big friend with Lutra, boys. I like this guy. I like this little buddy. I kind of really want to help him and kind of want to give him the uh, the crown, to be honest. I'm really thinking between him and Lutra, um, but the thing is, he has a little bit of, uh, from what Lutra te is telling us, she has a little bit of secrets. She's trying to hide some stuff. Very interesting. I can't trust Noxus for the likes of me, uh, for the for two cents, boys. I cannot trust this guy. All right, let's talk about the crown. Let's do this. Uh, uh, I've decided I want uh, I want you to make the crown. I uh, can do, buddy. But first things first, you gotta decide how many pages to use. There's three tiers to the crown, each one more effective than the last. For the bronze tier, you'll need ten pages. For that silver, you'll need fourteen, and for the best crown of all, the golden one, you'll need eighteen. Uh, once the crown exists, you can always upgrade it with more pages later. So don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Looks like you've got ten pages. How many you want to use for the crown? Uh, let's just use 10 for now. I want to just... Alright, sounds good. Uh, I, I just want to do it, boys. I just want to use the crown. I don't care about silver or gold. Uh, now, don't forget, there's other uses for the pages out there. So make sure you're okay with that before we get started. Still up for it? Yeah, let's do it. I, I don't care. Alright, we're ready to go. I'm curious. What's that crown going to look like? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Alright, so... And there you have it. That's a crown? Okay. Like I said, like a little ball of potential. Uh, but in the end, it might just make all the difference. Okay, so I pretty much give that ball to whoever I want. Okay, so I'm not sure how the ball works exactly. Now I'm kind of confused a little bit, boys. I am a little bit confused. Uh, I, I don't know how the ball works. So we're going to have to figure that one out. Um... Do I, can I just simply interact with whoever I want to give it to? Or like, how does it work exactly? You know what? She was talking, Alidia, I like Lutra a lot. But Alidia was talking into uh, maybe trying to find a way to create other dimensions and whatnot. So I really want to try and give her, I want to give her the ball and stuff. I can't give her the ball. I don't how, man. I don't know how the how it works. How does this ball? How does the ball work exactly? I gotta figure it out, boys. Hold on. I gotta talk to the snake again. Gotta talk to the snake again. We're actually gonna interact with him properly. How does this ball work exactly? So let's talk about the crown. Uh, can you remind me how it works? So yeah, let's get over it. At the end of your journey here. You can give the crown to whichever god you want. I really don't know how to choose. Uh, all he told me about is who do I want to make at, at the end of my journey here. So do I actually have to do all the missions then? I believe I have to do all the missions, boys. So there's one more mission for Elidia and one more mission for Noxus. Alright then, if that's the case, uh, let me talk to Noxus first. So we're gonna go talk to Noxus, the big scary creature, boys. Once again, uh, we'll see what type of mission he's, he's going to be able to give me and stuff. So let me go talk to him really quick, interact with him. All right, buddy, I am here to talk to you. Welcome back. What would you like to discuss? 
Okay, so my teleporter took me to a strange place last time I was here. Wanted to see if you knew anything about that. Ah, yes. You speak of the breach. A shadowy space between our world and the void beyond. You have seen it, it for yourself. And now you know the consequences of Lydia's research. What are your thoughts? Why do you wish to return to that place? Well, I find I want to find a way to free the creatures trapped there. I want to learn about more uh, more about the breach when why it exists. I don't want to go back, but I feel guilty if I didn't try to help. You know what? Uh, I kind of want to learn more about the breach. I don't care about the creatures. So your curiosity, curiosity drives you. I too am always searching for answers, and Alidia seeks the truth as well. That is why she makes such sacrifices. Do you believe she is such a just uh, justified in doing so? Well, I think she's right. You can't make progress without taking risks. Exactly. I am inclined to agree. But it is a difficult balance to maintain. Endanger those who trust you with their lives and you will lose that trust very quickly. But let us return to the topic at hand. Whatever your reason may be, you wish to free the creatures trapped in the breach. I cannot force your teleporter to send you there again. I know nothing about why that happened than, uh, 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 than you or Lydia. That said, I am capable of creating portals that link two places as long as I can see the starting point and the destination. And both mid-seas and the breach lie within the range of my sight. I could create a portal that allows the trap a creature to escape the breach, but it will require a great deal of energy. Perhaps in your travels, you have found your way to the Library of Antiquity. A large book rests that uh, their pages have been lost and scattered. These pages contain rec records of the old world, and there are sources of great power. But because my body is confined here to, uh, to the depths, I cannot retrieve them myself. Bring four of the pages to me, and I will have the energy I need to create a portal to the breach. Take it o uh, talk it over with Alidia. See if she agrees to those terms. If you are both in agreement, we will proceed. Alright, I'll discuss it with her. Good. I await your decision. Okay, so looks like we got... This is our mission we've got with her. Uh, with him. He wants uh, to create a... He's willing to give a, a create some sort of portal for us. But in exchange, uh, we actually have to get four pages for, uh, for him. These four pages, which would be very valuable to upgrade the ball on energy, boys. Instead of giving it to him. I don't know. I I don't know, boys. Alright, so I took a trip to the depths. Yeah, that's a, that's a relief. Thank you again for giving it to go. Uh, we were able to access the breach. No, unfortunately, the Noxus said they didn't know how to cause the teleporter malfunction either. Alright, that's discouraging. Anything else? Well, uh, he offered us to uh, to help us, I guess. What? Excuse me, that's just very unexpected. Do you know how may, how they plan to help? Well, they can create portals like the link to places. They're offering to help in exchange for some stuff, though. Remarkable. Is there any sort of catch? Are they asking us for anything in return? Yes, he wants four pages. All right, Library of Antiquity? I've never heard of such a place. Well, uh, there are gateways leading to the library scattered across the ocean. You never seen them? I haven't. This is surprising. Alpha had documented almost everything in the ocean, but apparently not. Well, I know how to get there, so don't worry. I, I've got this part uh, covered. Alright, so if you say so. Normally this is something I would think long and hard about, but... I spent so much time and effort trying to determine whether the breach exists. It was all fruitless. I can't imagine how I'd ever get there deliberately. I think our best part is to work with Noxus to free the missing ones. I agree. Are you sure? We don't really know if Noxus can be trusted though. I agree. We can't be certain. But we never will be. We know that Noxus is willing to help us do, uh, do something charitable. Frankly, that's enough for me. And furthermore, I fear the only alternative is to leave the missing ones to their fate. I am a dead end in my research on teleportation and the breach. I don't even know if I, uh, where to begin. If I were to pick it up again, 
Now that we have this option, it might be the only way to, we can save them. Maybe you're right. I wouldn't want to turn this uh, down and risk trapping the missing ones forever. You know what? What if you dedicated all your research time to studying the breach and how to reach it again? All my research time? That's unthinkable. Nothing matters more than discovering the truth about the ocean. I can't just abandon the rest of my work. Spend only part of your time on it then. Couldn't you stir these on the rest of the ocean to help you solve the mysteries of the breach? You're right, there must be another way. A way that gives me full control of the outcome. A way that doesn't force us to take chances with a, uh, with a being may, uh, we barely understand. I will take some sacrifices, yes, but I owe it to menacing ones who put their faith in me to set things right. Thank you so much for helping me see this, my friend. Well, no problem. That sounds good. I'll see you again soon. All right, so we made our choices, boys. Yeah, I was uh, basically convinced Alidia to not uh, go for the uh, for the Noxus route. Uh, we're gonna tell Noxus we're actually not gonna work with him after all. I don't think he can be trusted, boys. I just don't think he can be trusted. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go it on our own route. We're gonna do our own scientific measures on it. I don't want to have to give him anything. So let's go back to Noxus. Just simply tell him that uh, we're not gonna work with him, unfortunately. Uh, where is he at? He's right there. Okay, so I can't barely, I, I can't even see him, boys. Welcome back. All right, so Aria and, and I decided to look for another way to deal with the breach. Indeed, it seems neither you nor Alidia were willing to collaborate with me. I do not begrudge you this. I am also wary of trusting anyone I've not known for long. Perhaps Alidia will find a way to free them on her own. Perhaps not. The future, I am afraid, is neither yours nor mine to predict. In the meantime, feel free to return and speak with me whenever you like. I will always be here. Alright, I'll consider it. I'll give it some thought. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna work with him. I don't really wanna give him anything, boys. Any pages. Uh the pages are limited. If I give it to him. I don't know what he's really going to do with those, so... You know, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm just not. So how many uh, stories do I need to do? Let me go back right here. See if I actually... That was the story for Noxus. I want to see if that was the case or not. Hey, buddy, check out that glow, huh? Uh, that is what uh, we call the gift of creation. Looks like the new, new world's all set to go. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, shit. It's actually ready, boys. What do you know? I wasn't I wasn't uh, intended on finishing it right now, but I guess it's working now. So I guess oh I guess we can go. We can finish the game right now, boys, if we want to. I'm kind of intrigued uh, to say. You know what? I want uh, I'm gonna give it to Lydia. I want her to succeed in her progress, even though I liked Lutra quite a lot. Uh, it's creation versus destruction. You know, I'm gonna go for Aladia uh, in this one. I feel like she's the one I want to go for. So, let's go, boys. I'm actually ready. Uh, I gotta talk to him for it. First, you'll decide wh who to give the crown to. After that, all you gotta do is pick up the gift. It'll be the end of your time here once we kick things off. So, make sure you tip uh, all your loose ends up first. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for this shit. Let's do it, boys. Let's finish the game. For, so first off, the moment our, our crown's been waiting for. Which one of the gods is getting the power it holds? Alright, so he's, obviously he's not... Alidia's gonna get the crown, but she's not gonna get too much power. It's only browns after all. It's not silver. I don't really care about it, though. Uh, the minimum she can get would be great for our uh, technology-wise and stuff. So I need Alidia to get it so she can cross the paths and stuff. All right, good choice, buddy. And with that, boom, there she goes. So she's gonna get the bo the bonus. We send it on its way. And all that's left now is the gift. Once you've picked it up, you'll be good to go. Okay, let's pick it up. So gift of creation received. There it is, boys. So, well, guess this is it then. I'm always excited to see what happens with a new world. But it's almost, it almost, uh, but it also means we won't see each other for a while. We've got to talk quite a bit this time, more than usual. Thanks for that, buddy. It was a good run. 
for the, but for now, it's time for us to part ways. Do we have to? Okay, well, under, until next time then. Don't be a stranger, buddy. I'll be waiting here for you whenever you decide to give it this another go. You won't remember me, but I'll uh, I'll get you uh, caught up, ba uh, caught back you, uh, caught back up. All right, that's enough talking, I guess. Let's uh, this, let's get this show on the run uh, on the road. All right, bre boys, let's do this. We're bro about to create the new world. Let's do this. Let's enter the new world, and uh, let's see what it's gonna look like with Lydia on the main front. For a time, I continued to feel myself rising towards the heavens. Eventually, I came to a stop and the blinding light around me slowly faded away. Somehow, I was suspended among the stars. In the silent vo uh, void, I began to recall the full extent of my role in the cycle. In the ocean, it was my task to advise the gods and help determine the next creator. But once the new world was born, I would become the historian eternal observer and record keeper of every mortal age. I realized then that the book in the library of antiquity was written by me. Oh, I'm the one who uh, created the book, okay. Uh, to preserve the history of a past era. Soon I would be starting a new book and filling it pages with all the events to come. I could sense that the gift of creation was ready to move forward. But was I? I wished I could speak with them one last time. And to my promise, uh, my surprise, a portal opened before me. I smiled, uh, I smiled as a Mars familiar face appeared on the other side of the gateway. Whoa, what's going on, friend? I'm not sure how you're doing this, but it's good to see you. Something strange is going on. Is this the end of the world? I told Amar they were uh, basically correct. But a new world would be taking this one's place, and soon someone would be chosen to create it. Well, I sure hope it isn't me. No, it's not. Uh, creating a whole world sounds like a ton of work, and you know how I feel about that. Anyway, I, uh, are we going to get hang out uh, sometime in this new world? I said I certainly hope so. Yeah, me too, friend. Oh, look who it is. It's the god, the creator I chosen, boys. Suddenly, the view within the portal shifted, and the lady appeared, adjusting her goggles and looking to have, uh, thoughtful for a moment. Oh, well, hello. You can open portals too? Were well, you able to do this all along? I explained that I wasn't sure where the portals had to come from either. Perhaps I've created it unconsciously, or whether it was under the control of someone or something else. But more importantly, what is happening to the ocean right now? All the creatures are vanishing and there's an odd bright light coming from the sky. I told Aliyah about the no world and the process we've all been involved in to choose a creator. My word. If only I had known all this before, everything would have... But no, I thought I would have ha believed you anyway. Well, it sounds like there's many ways, new uh, many new discoveries still ahead of us. And that's always good news, if you ask me. See you on the other side, my friend. Uh, next, Kestri, uh, Ketri and Isti appeared. They looked a bit uh, forlorn, so I asked uh, how they uh, were feeling. We're okay. We've just been thinking about the past again told them about the new world well it depends on what the new world looks like we figured maybe we'd try and find out our mom and dad uh, find our mom and dad but we're not really sure we're still gonna see them again i told them i was glad they've given us some thought and wished them well thanks new friend see you around they didn't seem to be any sign of noxus at all I reached out to them uh, uh, by my thoughts, but there was no response. At that point, only Lutra remained. And somehow I knew this meant it had been uh, it had been chosen as the creator. What do you mean? I gave the ball to Lydia, not uh, Lutra. I guess Lutra ended up being the creator anyways. Interesting. An image began to appear within the gateway. And for a moment, I didn't understand what I was seeing. What I was seeing. Oh, sh look at Lutra. Oh, it looks badass. It dawned on me that I was looking at Lutra who had become a huge and majestic moth-like creature. I asked how it felt to have undergone such drastic change. This one feels new. Memories on this one not clear. Hunger thoughts. Thoughts of others like this one. Very strong. Also, this one feels 
pulse of the world fading. I nodded and explained that, uh, that soon a new world would take its own place. That Lutra would be the one creating it. Interesting. So Lutra is going to be my creator, boys. Even though I, I, I gifted the potential to uh, Alilia, Lutra is still the one getting the creation. I placed the gift of creation in front of me and it passed through the portal to reach Lutra. Lutra seemed lost and fought for a time. Then it tilted it, uh, its head to the side, eyes shimmering and brightly, as though some spark of recognition had occurred. This one understands. One thing ends, other begins. This one must choose what begins. I told Lutra I'd be there to write the events of history. It could always talk to me about how things were going if it wishes. It seemed to consider this. Then it took flight and was gone, leaving me to ponder what it plan its plans might be. My head was swimming with possibilities for how the new world might turn out. But of course the decisions were all up to Lutra now. Not me. So I gathered my, and my things and prepared to record what happened. Lutra made contact with the gift of creation. In its new moth-like form, Lutra thought of hunger as not diminished, nor as it is, uh, is desired but, uh, to be with others of its own kind. Uh, these thoughts and feelings were in full focus and as, it brought the, as it brought the new world forth from uh, no nothingness. Look at that. Uh, when Neutra opened its eyes, it found itself on a planet blanket in lush ve vegetation. A large group of its moth-like kin were approaching more from the heavens and Neutra greeted them exceedingly. The most feasted well, uh, with wild abandon. In just a few days, they had reduced the planet to barren wasteland. Damn. And now there were thousands of new moths as well. Food here no longer sufficient. New places with new plants must be found. Okay, so the mortals of this universe soon became aware of a species of all-devouring moth-like beings. Only two capable of interstellar space travel had a prayer of escaping them. They were forced to flee their home planets as the moths invaded. Damn, they started invading the entire universe. The moths didn't seem capable of understanding anyone's pleas. They couldn't be reasoned with. If it became clear that they would continue to multiply and devour all life other than themselves and if, if nothing were done to stop them. They basically became Galactus, boys. It's just a bunch of Galactuses everywhere. Uh, Ketri and History were fr frustrated by how little freedom anyone had. We shouldn't have, uh, have to live like this, being terrorized by the mo uh, moths all the time, they said. People should be free to do whatever they want. The moths are making life miserable for everyone. We've got to put a stop to it. Aliyah knew that the civilization's days were numbered by the moths in control. Even if the mortals managed to survive, they'd be living forever on a brick of extinction. Sadly, Lutra and the moths weren't considered an, an, another course of, archer, uh, of action. So that leaves us only one choice. We need to fight back. She resolved to raise a, uh, as much of a resistance to the moths and minions as she possibly could. A war ensued with the goal of taking the gift of creation from Lutra, so they're gonna give it, uh, get it away, okay? The rebellion was forced to engage the moths in other space where they were at their strongest. Mortal societies that could contribute armed vessels and uh, uh, people to polite them, pilot them did so. Many lives were lost in the skirmishes that followed. The conflict dragged on for years and it seemed it might never end. Until it, was, it all com uh, uh, culminated in a final uh, desperate battle between Lutra and the rebelling go uh, gods. Ketri and Esti fought in tandem, channeling lancing balls of electricity at their opponents. Aliyah armed herself with uh, uh, mighty weapons that focused the sun's power and deadly beams. Amar, terrified by the very idea of battle, were, was nowhere to be found. Look at them, they're fighting against each other. That's, uh, that's some sort of crazy shit. I did not expect that to go that route, boys. I thought the leader would be the god. I wanted her to be the crea uh, creator. Alutra and the remaining moths fought back vigorously. Their powers were greatly magnificent, magnified because of their position of the gift. Once they had been uh, an impossible vast swarm of them, but the long war had reduced their numbers uh, substantially. 
Still, even a few dozen moths were a terrible force to be reckoned with. With a flap of their wings, they released uh, clouds of energy particles that would explode and destroy a chip in contact. Uh, their psychic abilities inherited from Lutra allowed them to sub uh, subtly inflict fear, doubt and panic in gods and mortal beings alike. There, weren't, there wasn't much hope for victory against them, but at that point it was all or nothing. In the end, the rebellion's resistance was not enough, and Lutra and the moths triumphed putting an end to the hostilities. This world belongs to this one now. Not any others. Others are dangerous. Safety of these ones must be ensured. And so, to prevent any further uh, uprising, Lutra and the Moths uh, ended the rebel, uh, rebelling gods' existence entirely. Oh shit. He snapped them, boys. He literally tandles them. Meanwhile, Amar was racked with guilt, uh, guilt of, over the decision not to fight Lutra and the Moths. The fates of the other gods haunted them constantly. They couldn't stop wondering whether the, uh, things might have gone differently, if only they had joined the battle too. So they fled to some faraway places in an attempt to escape their regret, but it followed the close behind forever. The gods were this universe's last hope against the wrath of Lutra and its moth-like kin. Once the rebellion fell, the moths continued stripping planets as uh, bare to satisfy their hunger, obliterating thousands of years of mortal progress. Since there was no hope of reaching an agreement with the godly insects, the survivors had no choice but to live their lives on the run and the space forever. So the mortals will live, fleeing, uh, fleeing the moths for as long as they can, until the cycle begins anew. Well, that ended ter terribly. That was a bad ending and a half, boys. Oh, well. I mean, I gifted the potential to... The ball of potential, I gifted it to Lydia. And still, she didn't become the creator. Uh, so, I guess me helping out Lutrol this time was maybe the bad move. I thought Lutrol was a good guy. He was kind of misunderstood character. But I guess not. His hunger took, uh, took the best of him, boys. And he ended up... Uh, having uh, created a bunch of of his uh, of his skin, which basically created a bunch of Galactus roaming around the world. So I like this game quite a lot. That was a really good game. A little bit of a longer video to finish it, but I uh, really enjoyed playing this game, boys. Uh, kind of fitting that we finished it because now we're gonna have Dying Light coming up as well in a couple of days. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I liked. I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below boys tell me uh, What you thought about this game in this series overall so keep it easy